guys, Crystal here. Welcome back to Rosewood. Today is the, oh gosh, what is it? The 12th of November, uh, 2017. Oh, I'm not gonna buy turnips. I'm sorry. Oh gosh, she's being pushy. Okay, well, we're just gonna ignore her for now. <laughs> I wish I could buy turnips. I really miss playing the stock market, but I just, ugh, I can't check it in the mornings and I barely have time to check it in the evenings, so... Uh, to Crystal, I've been trying to describe the essence of O'Hare, and I finally arrived at an answer, and I'm sending it to you. Use this to discover the true O'Hare. <laughs> Alright, let's see what it is. A kid's smock? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so you may notice my hair is different. I did switch it from the last time. I'm actually gonna go switch it back right now. I figured I'd do it on camera with you guys. If you're wondering, blech, if you're wondering why, <laughs> uh, it's because yesterday morning I was wrapping up filming on a guide I've been working on since uh, August. Uh, which is a very long time ago, um, when my hair was different. So I had to change it back to have some form of uh, continuity between the scenes and that. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do this today because uh, I, I like my other hairstyle. <laughs> Hi there, sugar. Welcome to Shampoodle. If you want a makeover, sit down in that chair in front of my machine. Oh gosh, haven't done this in a while. Okay, so. Uh, I have looked it up online. I think I know what I'm going for here. Hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> okay, sounds great. Now we haven't done this in a while. Like, I rarely change my hair in this game. Uh, okay, so we are going to go all the way down to formal. Okay, and we're gonna go private here. Uh, it is a party. Okay, now we just need to pick out the color, and this is where I feel like I'm gonna mess up because it's just a slider. <laughs> I'm not good at choosing. Uh, I think I went for like just, just right there. Oh, it's probably gonna be wrong. You know what? We're gonna do it. We got this. We got it. We can do it. I'm nervous now. Watch as it comes out completely wrong. <laughs> Uh, eh. You know what? That isn't the color I was going for, but that's not so bad. I actually kind of like it. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. It's kind of cute. Doesn't exactly match my thumbnail anymore, but it's okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Uh, I've been on an Animal Crossing kick recently. I don't know what it is, but for some reason I've just really wanted to play recently. So we uh, we streamed it yesterday, and thank you very much for those who uh, were able to make it, and also thank you to those who watched it later on on YouTube. Um, so we do have a new villager moving in. I plot reset for him this morning, if you guys didn't see yesterday. Uh, his name is Bud. He's a jock lion. And he is very interesting looking. <laughs> um, he's gonna be actually moving in right where Gaston was. It just kind of worked out this way. Um, theoretically, we'll have Gaston move in back here, but, you know, hopefully. <laughs> um, so far, I have yet been able to get an amiibo card for him, so, so we'll have to see. But, uh, but thankfully for Bud, you know, I made sure last night that I had all the paths where they needed to be, made sure that there was no way he'd move into a bad spot, and he didn't, which is awesome. How's it going, Robin? You're gonna have a new neighbor. Oh, I love the scent of our town's peach trees. Don't you? Everyone does. I wonder, Missy. Can you bring me a peach? 
Oh, why not? Mm, okay, so I don't even know where the nearest peach tree is, but I'm sure we'll find one as we're wandering around and doing dailies. I've also been playing um, the original Animal Crossing on the GameCube recently. I started again yesterday. <laughs> I started again yesterday, playing for the second day today, and uh, oh boy, this game has uh, come a long way since then. Hi, buddy. Oh gosh, it's not evening. <laughs> evening. It's not evening. Oh gosh. I'm tired. Um, I have something I want to give to O'Hare, but I'm so hungry I can't move very far. Do you think you can make a delivery to O'Hare for me? Yeah, why not? Hopefully he's easy to find. For some reason, whenever a villager has something that I need to give them, they are always just <laughs> in the weirdest places or like hidden behind something. So frustrating. Oh, well never mind. When did you get here? What kind of delivery is it? Is it something really good? I don't know. You can take it though. Ah, uh, could this be? Is this the thing I asked Bob to snag for me? Excuse me for just a second. Oh no, don't change shirts. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh no. Uh, hmm? I'm not gonna lie, it's not that bad. I preferred the other shirt though. It's okay. I know I chose the it's good option, but still. <laughs> Oh gosh darn it, I'm just gonna mail it back to you. Oh no, I should mail it to Shep because he's not wearing one right now. And he looks really silly. Let me go do that. I saved paper yesterday that I, uh, I think I mailed Peggy something? I don't actually remember. She didn't even reply back to me. That's kind of rude now that I think about it. Um, okay. Wait, did I send that letter? That's the next question. Uh... There we go. Oh, and I've started to collect bushes now of different sorts. For example, I want blue hydrangeas because I think they look really nice um, for around town. I wanted to send this to Shep. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Okay, maybe not that short. That's kind of mean. Perfect. <laughs> Am I good at letter writing or what? Okay, uh, so that. I guess I did mail it off then. It wasn't in there. That's kind of frustrating. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah we're not gonna bother with that. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Let's try on the shirt just so I can see what it looks like. And then, you know, maybe one of our villagers might want it. You never know. Or might look good in it, I should say. Also, I need to switch my mailbox. I just realized that does not fit my house at all. Uh... Hmm. I don't know who I should put that shirt in. Put that shirt on, rather. Um, I don't know if it would look good on anybody. It might kind of look cute on O'Hare, actually, but... Meh. <laughs> Too lazy to do all that. Okay, so Bud should be moving in fully tomorrow, um, and I should hopefully be able to film next on the Tuesday or on the Wednesday uh, coming up, which means you guys will be able to meet him soon enough. He's a pretty cool villager. We actually played uh, Desert Island Escape yesterday on stream, and I scanned in his card, because that's apparently something you can do. And uh, he, w he was pretty cool. I really like him. He's been a villager who I've had my eye on for a little while now, actually. Um, hadn't had the chance to get him, and then I bought the, uh, oh, what was it, Series 2 Amiibo cards recently, and, and there he was, so it worked out quite well. Um, meh, that's mine. Let's just put this right here. 
I'm kind of slowly trying to breed more and more of these because I think that they're very pretty. Um, I do have a plan for these ones actually. I just actually I should probably count to make sure it's gonna work before I say that I have a plan, but we can do that in just a minute here. Also, there's a lot of, uh, I believe these are monarch butterflies flying around today. Have you guys noticed that? I've seen like two near retail, two down here. Okay. Uh, so let's go make sure everything in town is in order. Uh, I've kind of changed some stuff again since the last time. I've been trying to uh, open this up a bit so that we have more of these spawn in here because I ultimately I would love to have a path of, uh, of clovers. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it but it's something I'd love to have. Um, let's see here. Nothing. Oh, hello there. Um, I also, this morning, uh, before uh, maybe like 8 a.m. I keep waking up early on my weekends and it sucks. But, uh, oh, hi, bud. Oh, oh, man, I was hoping he'd ask for the shirt. You can take it. I already had it. Oh, wow, that's actually a lot. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I actually was uh, going through our encyclopedias and we only have, I think it was nine bugs, 12 fish, and three deep sea creatures left to catch. The bad news about that is, is many of them were from the period of like maybe like June to like September, which is pretty much when I was working at my old job and very stressed and not able to play as much as I should have been. So that was my fault. Um, the good news is, as I've already stated, I will be continuing this Let's Play into next year, so we still do have a chance to complete the entire encyclopedia before, you know, wrapping up this series. Um, Gala, how's it going? Um, give me your honest opinion. How does my outfit look? Okay, so yesterday on stream she changed into this, and I don't mind it. I think it looks okay. I don't think it looks great, but some people really hate it on it, so... Uh... It looks... How about cute? Gorgeous is a lot. Stylish is a lot. Cute is okay. There we go. I made her happy, at least. Alright, there's something else. You know, it hasn't rained in a while in my game. We actually did have a rainbow yesterday, though. Unfortunately, it was before stream started, so I didn't get to show you guys, but I did take some pretty pictures of it, so maybe I'll use those in the future. Okay, Peggy is in her house. Maybe she changed and just didn't send me a letter back? Nope, she put it in her house. Man, why do you do that? I don't understand. Do you even have a closet? You don't even have a closet, Peggy. It would have looked so cute on you. So, like, I heard you're totally great at catching bugs. Oh. Who is spreading these lies? I need your help. I have to get a pill bug. Do I even have a pill bug? Is that one of the ones I need? Oh, no, wait. Pill bugs are the ones where you smack the rock, aren't they? We haven't gotten one of those in forever because I think they're only there in the winter? No, is that the centipede? Oh, now I'm confused. <laughs> I know that we're missing a centipede, but I don't remember how you get it. I just remember it from counting the uh, bugs we were missing earlier. Oh, well, there's a peach tree. Um, That's really not that accessible. Though. I'm gonna see if we have another one. <laughs> be a bit easier. Man, Joan is super tempting, but there's like four minutes left before, uh, or wait, five minutes left before it, it turns to 12 and she disappears, so I'm not gonna bother. I wasted a lot of money. Also, this was the plot resetting house <laughs> for, uh, whoops, for, uh, Bud this morning. If you're wondering why that place is empty, I'm gonna have to put some trees down here. It's, uh, become very barren in this area. <laughs> Got some mushroom furniture. Uh, okay, perfect. Still have some space. 
Weather forecast. No flurries will begin and nights and mornings will get colder. Be sure to bundle up to avoid catching a cold. You know what's scary? That was nearly the exact same message they had in Animal Crossing Population Growing this morning. Because I was playing that this morning and they had the exact same thing. Pretty much avoid getting an early winter cold. Bundle up, it's going to be cold in the mornings and at nighttime. That's weird that they kept it. But kind of interesting, actually. Considering there's a lot of differences, obviously, between New Leaf and its uh, older family members. Oh, hello there. Actually, that was all four, wasn't it? Nice. Very nice. Okay, so Melba is not in. That's okay. We're gonna ignore Cherry. <laughs> I don't want to get attached to her. She's a nice villager. I don't mind her. I'm very picky on Uchis as well, but she moved into a bad spot and we're gonna have to live with that for the next little while. <laughs> Okay, so right here, you guys might remember I was mentioning my plan with the carnations earlier. You can see I sort of have already started. Um, I would like to have one, two... Yeah, it would work. Um, I'd like to have a couple rows of each, so like maybe a row of red, a row of pink, or two rows of pink, and then two rows of white or so. It might be one row in this area, but that's okay. Um, just for the bottom of our... Uh, Plaza. That's the word. This is a plaza. <laughs> um, I might also put bushes here and have a tree here, but then it kind of makes this area kind of weird. Anyway, I, it's all in the planning stages still, but you can see I've sort of started it. Um, trying to water them to get them to grow. We have actually had quite, obviously, actually rather good success with these. As you can see, I have quite a few red ones now, so that's good. Um, so any that I get from the beach will also be coming up here. Okay, so our tree is doing well, but losing losing its leaves for the season. Um, no camper, but that's okay. And another monarch butterfly. This is like, look at this. I love the. <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice here. <laughs> I love the. I love the like the almost the look of the path. If I could get that to work here, it would be awesome. Um. But yeah, don't you guys hate it when, like, you're not sick yet, but, like, you can feel it creeping up on you? Like, I'm I'm expecting it because, obviously, you know, you start um, maybe a new semester at school or a new semester or a new job, even. Um, you're interacting with different people. You're in a different environment. You are probably going to get sick, so I've been expecting this. Um, but, like, I can feel it creeping up on me and I can hear it in my voice. My chest feels congested. It's just... It's not very nice. Okay, so I want to assess all of these fossils, please. Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Okay, so, um, I wanted to go stop by Nook's Homes because that mailbox is now gonna bother me if I don't change it. Um, maybe changing it to, like, a blue would look cool. I'm not really sure just yet, but we'll figure something out. Okay, so that's definitely not the mailbox I want. Yeah, nothing yet. It's okay, we'll keep coming back. Hopefully he gets something in that we like. Okay, um... Let's come back and do shopping in a little bit. Okay. Um... 
what else did I want to do today? There was something else I was thinking of and now I'm blanking. Um, we still need to get a peach for Robin and I want to take one of those to Shrunk so we can get... That's not the shop. <laughs> so that we can get, uh... Words. Get, uh, emotes. Emotes. Okay, so I want to sell. Um, so sometime in the not too distant future, you guys, I am going to be doing um, a nighttime episode. I might do it on a weekend instead of leaving it for a work night just because I'll be really tired. Um, ooh, what are you buying premium for? Um, but anyway, um, a lot of the fish in particular that we have outstanding from our encyclopedias. For some reason, they're all after like 9 p.m.-ish. So uh, we'll have a late night episode. What are you buying? Elegant, okay, it was the mushroom. Cool, good to know. Okay, let's head back up. Um, do some quick shopping. Oh, wait, peach, we need a peach. Ooh, you know what else we could do, actually? Just looking at the- oh, hi, buddy. Looking at the time. We could do a, a part-time job at the coffee place. If there's a string that connected us, what color do you think it would be? Um, probably blue. We're connected by a blue string? What does that mean? It must mean that our friendship is chill. You are so right. It's not that it's my favorite color or anything, hon. <laughs> He knows so much about me. Um, oh, there's a peach. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I didn't lose one. I thought I would there. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Um, yeah, let's go give one to Robin first off before I forget, because knowing me, I will. Uh, it was Robin who wanted one, right? I think it was. And she was somewhere over here. Okay, Robin, please, please don't have wandered off really far again. That's so annoying when you do that. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't- oh, oh, wait. <laughs> I didn't water those down there. Give me a second. Oh gosh, we're talking to a lamppost. Modern wood closet. Cool, thank you. I don't- I don't know. I probably have one. I think. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Uh, good, good. These are actually coming along really nicely. Still not sure where I'm gonna put them, but... I swear, we're being overrun by monarchs right now. This is weird. I don't think I've ever seen this many, like, all at once. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Okay, so. Um, we'll give one of these to Shrunk, but the other thing I want to do is plant one up where the uh, plot resetting house was, because that area has become very empty and desolate, so we're gonna fix that. Right, right around here. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Very nice. Okay, let's go pay, take a visit. Pay, take a visit, pay a visit to Shrunk. <laughs> He's open, right? It's 12. Yeah, perfect. Okay, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> hey there, buddy. Uh, yeah, I brought a snack. You can take this. A peach, don't mind if I do. Yeah, peaches are awesome.
Oh, shyness joke. Okay, that's cool. The story is from back before the missus and I got hitched. It was truly love at first sight. So one day I gathered up all my courage and decided to propose to her. Yeah, it went great. Um, well, the truth is, I, um, I mean, what I want to say is, I just couldn't spit it out. I was standing there squirming and she looked at me and said, I'm sorry, who are you? It took three months to get the nerve to try again. Are you proposing to someone who you've never actually spoken to, Shrunk? That's kind of weird. Okay. So that's one that I'll use. Wait, no, Shrunk, you have to watch me use it. There we go. <laughs> that's cute. Awesome. Okay. Uh, let me just really quickly- gosh, look at all you guys. Look at you all. <laughs> it's like a majority of Rosewolf when we first started. This is weird. Good lord. <laughs> let me really quickly check out TIY and make sure there isn't anything that I want. Um, I want this for- the basement. Or even the bob room at this point. Um, I think we're good. Oh wait, no. Eh, flower shop. I guess I can go around from the outside, but still. <laughs> okay. Oh, wrong. There we go. <laughs> Hello there, Leaf. Do you happen to have any blue hydrangeas? It's a white azalea. Do not want. Uh, there we go. Very nice. I think I'm just gonna focus on collecting one at a time. So that I don't get confused. Because <laughs> knowing me, I'll do it anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure where I want to put these. Um, I have a couple of ideas. But we'll see how that goes. Okay, so as promised, let's see if Brewster will accept us for work right now. I forget what times he allows you to work, but I know I've been wrong or off the last couple times I've tried this, so. Hello, welcome. How can I help you? Uh, I want to work. Alright, you have to make the coffee exactly as the customer asks. Which, by the way, you guys, I am not going to be looking up a guide for this. I'm just going to do it blindly. I did have notes at one point, but I kind of gave up. Can you get me some coffee? Let's see. I prefer it if you use Blue Mountain coffee beans. I like how that's even a question after he specifically said to. Uh, I'm gonna guess a regular amount for Shep. What sugar should I use? Uh, um, two. That's a very safe bet, I feel like. Let me absorb this flavor. That's a weird saying, huh? <laughs> this is a lot different from what- Oh man, Shep! <laughs> Wait, did he just steal Melba's catchphrase? Is he saying cuddles? <laughs> Alright. Oh! Oh! You must be all sugar and like- Oh. Oh, never mind. Now I'm unsure. <laughs> I'm still gonna go for three sugar. Uh, you did a mocha. He said none. And I'm gonna say three sugar. Maybe. <laughs> I have to get this right, it's our senpai, you guys. Let's try a sip. 
Yep, that's tasty, but it's not quite right. I like the amount of milk, but everything else- oh no! Next time, make that coffee how I like it. Dude, you have to tell me how you like it. What type of establishment is this? Oh, Robin, but she doesn't know how to measure anything. She won't know how many spoons she wants. Two sugar- are you sure? I don't think you're sure. Oh gosh, I have no clue. Kilimanjaro, I don't know. Uh, a little bit. Two. Cause she said two. <laughs> Watch as she complains. I'm gonna make so much fun of this. Let's see if you're on the same level as Brewster. Uh, the test will be how this coffee tastes. Yuck, this doesn't taste right at all. I mean, you got the amount of sugar right, but everything else is wrong. <laughs> Uh, I'm horrible at this job. I should be fired. Oh gosh, we got him last time, I feel like. Also, I'm just saying, his legs look really weird. Okay, so he doesn't like sugar. I'm gonna guess mocha for him. Uh... Let's just go none at all. And no sugar, either. Let's see how that is. Yeah, man, that's a decent cup of joe. But this isn't a blend. You can't fool this nose. Thanks, anyway. So I got the milk and sugar right, I guess? Seems the customers have all been taken care of. Good work, are you joking? I failed. <laughs> you made a fair number of customers leave happy. Not a bad day's work, are you? Brewster, were you even watching? I'm gonna pay you in good coffee beans. You can make a strong cup with those. Except I can't because the game won't let me. Come back and help me again sometime. Wait, I'd like to give you this. Ooh. It's a rather old, but you might still get some use from it. Please continue to do your best. What did I get? A coffee maker? Okay, so now I can make coffee. <laughs> no, I can't actually, unfortunately. Anyways, you guys, I think I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.